you got another workout for the lads? Can you sort of get some of your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, obviously, um, after the Starport Swift game, um, we needed to work on a lot of things in possession of the ball, and I think we did that at times today. Um, we still need to work on our final third bits and pieces, um, but we're slowly getting there. And it's you know, it's it ain't about results. It's about getting the minutes into the lads, and, and they're slowly getting used to the formation and the way that myself, Charlie, and Ryan want to play. And we're sort of three, three or four friendlies into pre-season now, so just sort of getting up those minutes is the important part at this point, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're getting close to it now. Obviously, we did 60, 30 minutes today with the lads, and then we'll do exactly the same on Saturday. Um, you know, we're slowly getting towards the 90 minutes games. And uh, a bit of a, almost an unknown in terms of the, the opposition today, but it, it was a, a difficult test for them, and it was a different sort of test, wasn't it? A team coming over from Spain, just uh, trying to prove themselves. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they tried to play football. And we're going to come up against teams like we're going to come up with teams that are going to play it long, and we're going to come up against teams that are going to try and play football against us. Um, so it gives us a, a different, you know, challenge each game, and we're going to see that this season where teams are going to try and play against us, and we're going to try and combat it, and we're going to have teams that are going to go long and, and play that way effectively. And looking up to sort of first team level, a lot of the under 23s have had uh, numerous chances now in the opening three first team friendlies. How pleasing is that for you to see? Yeah, it's great. It's great um, that they're all up there and they're actually doing well. Um, it's nice. They're taking their chances. Nori against Aston Villa, uh, scoring a goal. That was very good for the team. You know, and then you got Dara last night against Swifts. Shane's in around the team. You know, and it's 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 very pleasing. And hopefully the lads that are here now, the ones that are coming through as we call first years, they're looking at them actually right. If I do things right, with obviously with the gaffer and with Russ watching then they've got a chance. And while some people may say that uh, in the past uh, potentially a lot of the younger players have been involved with the first team because of a lack of squad depth, the, the, the fact is that recently in this pre-season the players are going in and making a good impact so they're really proving their worth, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they've gone there and it's all been positive. I've heard a lot of positive things, that, not just from the 23s but also even the younger lads from the academy that go in there and are actually been effective in around first team players and, and that's very good to hear from obviously from a coach's point of view that they're doing really well and they're listening, taking stuff on board and that, you know they're going in, into big games like you know Aston Villa, Bristol Rovers, Starport Swifts you know, and they've obviously got a few other tough games coming up that they're going to have to test themselves and, and they're handling it very, very well. And take, for example, last night at Stourport, all bar one of the players has come through the academy or is currently in the academy. And that's a, that's a great achievement for them to play against uh, Stourport Swift's first team experienced, uh, experienced side there. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're men's football, so obviously that's what you're going to come against. So it's that's probably what you might roughly get in a league game. So it's nice if they can handle it, with they can play football, and the way they played second half, dominating possession of ball and doing everything that the gaffer and Russ asked for from start of game at half time, was spot on.